I am really excited to finally have our premier Rough Cuts Film Festival being shown here at Piedmont Virginia Community College. I think that our relationship with dogs is, is unique among the, uh, the animal species. I mean, there's really no other uh, species, maybe kitties, um, that, we, that we share our lives with so intimately and that we have such important relationships with. Um, and I think there's so many ways that we interact with dogs. And I truly believe that dogs make us better people. So I think the focus of this film festival is, is, um, is really, uh, to some degree, about that. But this is a new concept in terms of um, helping people understand what we do at Service Dogs, but also having some fun. I think this is phenomenal. I think it's really very original. Uh, very clever. Yeah, you know, we're not really a black tie organization. We're all much more comfortable being around dogs and and uh, we really felt that we wanted something that was a lot of fun and that really reflected our values. Oh, I'm really happy to be here to help support this great event and a great organization, Service Dogs of Virginia. We were intrigued. Uh, it, uh, it, it was a, a creative and unique fundraiser, it sounded like, a film festival to uh, raise funds for a good cause and so we wanted to come and be supportive. You know I'm not supposed to pet you. Uh, when I was nine years old, I was uh, diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome, which is um, classified as an autism spectrum disorder. Um, but the biggest problem that she helps me with is sensory levels, like uh, loud noises, uh, crowds, and she helps, she helps those sensory levels from going high. It was such a crazy overnight difference. And the fact that she made that impact in my life just truly honors me. And so many people helped me achieve that. And I feel that being a part of this, being a part of Service Dogs of Virginia, is kind of my way of giving back. Because so many people did things for me so I could get my dog. And I really want other people to feel that as well, to be able to have that support. The Rock was one of the first search and rescue dogs up at 9-11 at Ground Zero. It was a great experience. Everyone came out, you know, they're supporting service dogs and it was really wonderful for me to be able to show that the Rottweiler also makes a good service dog. So that was great. I rescued a Rottweiler eight years ago and it was, um, you know, he's just an incredible dog, but I was really made aware quite, quite early what the public thinks of Rottweilers, the majority of the public. And um, I think that for me, I just wanted to change that. You know, a part of it is because I love working with dogs, you know? I have been enjoying the movies. They are alternately um, funny and engaging uh, about just dogs being dogs. And others are very focused on the tasks that the dogs are trained for and that they perform. Um, really entertaining and uh, certainly, you know, I'm uh, not one to be able to resist crying at poignant and heartstring pulling type of movies, so definitely a few tears shed. It's a very uh, serious work and great things that service dogs do for people. It, it, it seems to be put together in a way that will appeal to a broad audience. We want it to be a fundraising vehicle for other service dog organizations, other animal rescue organizations, or really anyone who thinks that it would suit their mission. Uh, it would basically be a fundraiser in a box. Um, we've done all the work and they can simply lease it and use it.